Come on. He was a genius, don't you understand? We must take his eyes. Go for a quick breeze of Ralph Lauren and jizz on your own neck. Love thy neighbour. <laughs> as long as you jerk him off every day. Every day, my I promise. Well, let's get it right. Can you imagine Prince Charles not murdering her? I want to pay and will pay good money to see Sarah Silverman pulling off Raven. Third world countries can make an I theatrically piss myself as she drives into the distance. Hmm. What are we talking about? <laughs> I've actually forgotten why, why I said that. <laughs> Hello, you're watching the Not A Vlog series finale. The series finale that's always had a bit of anxiety about going into lifts, but doesn't really talk about it much. <laughs> that's right. This first part of the show we know genuinely nothing about, and it's called did you know? Andrew, did you know that the first known transfusion of blood was performed in 1667 when, uh, I think it's John Baptiste or Sean, no I can't quite read that. I transferred two pints of blood from a sheep to a young man who needed wow. it. Wow. Did that I, work? <laughs> Can you do that? Did he live? I, I'm not sure. I, th I It doesn't say successful blood transfusion. <laughs> I like his gumption. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, he's the first guy to try it. It's just like, bleeding out. Jim. Yeah, some blood. Shit. Um... <laughs> Sorry, oh, yeah. baby Ruth, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could explore some other options. No, no, we'll, we'll try the sheep's blood. Jim. Take me um... down to the hospital. It's over there. We just need to stop the bleeding. <laughs> already beginning the procedure. <laughs> Where did you even get that shit? <laughs> I carried it round just in case. What, just in case to try this for the first time ever? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ollie, did you know that a woman survived a 14.5 thousand foot drop, 14,500 foot drop, uh, from a uh, skydive where the parachute didn't deploy at all. No, but she, she, just, she survived. She just jumped out the plane, free fell and survived. How she survived is quite interesting. She actually landed on an ant's nest. Uh, a, and a the ants, ants carried nest. her to freedom. <laughs> this is what I've been saying from the beginning. Sorry, what, what actually happened? She landed on a fire ant's nest and um, what happened was she was stung <laughs> hundreds of times which then increased the adrenaline in her body, which kept her heart beating. That kept her heart going. Mm. So it, she took such a hit that obviously she was probably yeah. going to die. But then, ironically, a considerable amount more pain ended up saving her life. Yeah, I guess so. But after a degree, you might have just had had it switched off for you. Yeah. You know I mean, sometimes you get people in so much pain that their bodies go and they mm. just... Yeah, and they go away from it, so, but, well, you know. <laughs> nope, not me, it's just hundreds of fucking fire ants <laughs> sticking my face and my vagina, all in my ass, all up in my hair, my ears, my eyes, my mouth. I swallow most of them. This next game is called Forgot the Script. Ollie will have to act out a scene he's never seen, but I will be the only one with a copy of the script. Ollie, are you ready? I think so. Emperor Ming, what should we do about the villagers? Well, I think there's only one thing we can do. We must split the food equally among the villagers to end the dispute. But sir, don't you think that's a little bit lenient? Well, everybody does need food, um, so... No. But Emperor, if we do that, you surely know what will follow. Yes, a Bloody good lunch for everyone, and I know it's tough because we'll have less food in the castle, but we'll leave ourselves with enough to survive until the next shipment of food. I don't know if you're just playing the fool, but I will have no part of this. Well, I mean, come on, Rick. I mean, we've worked <laughs> together for years now. It seems that we should just give him a bit of lunch. Oh, you think of me a fool, do you? Fine, kill them all. Escape is futile. Exactly. Kill them all. <laughs> That's correct. Oh, <laughs> you wish. I do, yes. <laughs> Wait, where did you get that? Oh, this? <laughs> From the market. It's, it's lovely, isn't it? Wh whatever it may be. Lots of lovely something coming off of it. You'll doom us all with that. Well, yes, I figured I might when I bought it. It was only seven quid. A killer bargain. 
<laughs> Leave our mother out of this. I... No. <laughs> I'm just relevant and hilarious to mention. Last chance. Will you join me? I... We're not on the same page. No, I'm not going to join whatever. We're talking about two different things. <laughs> That's not the answer I was hoping for. Nor me. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking try it. I'm the emperor or something. <laughs> this next part of the show is called Gavin's Gabble, where my mate Gavin will tell me old stories from his childhood. And I'll have to guess which film he's in fact ripping off. Well, mate, thank you very much for coming in again. That's oh, so right. Um, I'm not really doing much these days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. No. I've... No, yeah, no, I don't have a job. It's... Yeah, I was sorry to... I've got a couple imagine. of kids to, like, feed and that. How are they doing? Really are they okay? Oh, they're both dead. Shit, sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, yeah I've been thinking about my childhood a lot these days. <laughs> had some... Had some bad childhood experiences. Oh, yeah? Yeah. No good. Like, like this one time, right? So we were all really poor when I was young. Yeah, oh, poor yeah. family and that. You know, live with my 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 granddad and some old like big old some old people. I'm trying to just go about my business, but uh, it turns out there's this chocolate bloke. He's all like, oh, I wasn't doing anything for a bit. Now I'm doing some stuff. Yeah. So, I want everyone to come and see me, yeah? So I was just like, all right, fair enough. Yeah, I quite like chocolate. But because I'm so poor, I can't even afford it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because I want to I buy the chocolate so I can go and do the thing with that chocolate, man. Oh, yeah, you got to see it, you know. Yeah. got to try as many different chocolate bars as you can so That's you can the get one. the thing. That's yeah, yeah, to get the... the, the the, bit of a golden the ticket, receipt, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah something That's like it. that. And uh, <laughs> so I, I, I got it. Yeah. And I went there. Oh, yeah. Fucking nutter. <laughs> what, 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 what did he do? What was he like? He was bloody stretching the children apart, <laughs> making them turn into tiny digitised versions of themselves. One girl, I think, got killed by a bunch of geese. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure it all happened so quickly. Oh, Gav, are you just describing the plot to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? I, I haven't seen that film. <laughs> so there was this other time, yeah? Lived with me uncle and aunt. Cunts. <laughs> and uh, having a bit of bit of a bad time about it, generally. But uh, <laughs> this big airy lad comes along, <laughs> chiming some bollocks about... I don't know, you're the gifted... <laughs> You're the chosen one. Takes me away. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Flying bloody motorcycle. <laughs> Which was the first shock of, of what was to be many, like, paradigm-altering <laughs> experiences that I had. The whole thing's just left me disturbed. Gabby, just uh, describing the plot to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. No. You right. always think that I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't heard of that film. Sorry. You're I a liar, Gav. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Chronic liar. We, you know, we've known about it for some time. We know that you're talking about films. Got a problem, mate. Get back on the heroin. <laughs> Movies are just... They're better than life, aren't they, eh? There's always hope in a film. There's always a happy ending. Can I stay at your place tonight? <laughs> oh, man. There was this other time, though. <laughs> this section is where we take your feedback and criticisms and answer your questions. Super ME 82 says, The most nonsensical drivel. In another really comments uh, section, we said that we want the most nonsensical drivel. Yeah, more nonsense. We, that's what we want you to comment. We want you to comment nonsensical and drivel. You, you really came through. I Very like literally. Well done, Emmy. Even more insane mice says, tell me about your mothers. <laughs> um, mine's really lovely and she's uh, she's a really nice cook. She is. Your mother's a wonderful cook. 
That's lovely. lovely Roast dinners and brownies and things. And my mum is a little Indian lady who, you know, is also quite lovely. I, I like her at least. She is very cool. She is very cool. She brought me some socks once, some warm, fluffy socks, because she said it looked like I had cold feet. So there's our mothers. Us, yeah. Don't really know why you were too interested. But, yeah. Um, we're not going to tell you the story of how we met them, because that will go on too long and write itself as it goes along. <laughs> Tom Zafail said, I just slept for 15 hours. Help me. Tom, you don't need any help. That if you'd have just worked for 15 hours, maybe we'd help you, but <laughs> no. Dan Danimo Harris says, Cats, dogs, and babies. It's Tuesday. It sure is. I Dan. couldn't agree more, Dan. Uh, thank you very much for your <laughs> remark, and do comment below. <laughs> Joshua S. Miles says, I like penguins. And you've said that pretty consistently across many of our videos. So thank you so much for your dedication <laughs> Hard to work, penguins. <laughs> diligence and dedication to not only our videos, but penguin kind. And the thing with that kind of thing is it only gets funnier the more you do it and the longer it goes on. So you really just nailed it. Raheem D says, how do you accidentally walk into a strip club? Laughing my ass off, if you say so. Raheem, shush. <laughs> Hat Raccoon says you guys should make a podcast. Sorry, Raheem. Just, Hat, uh, Hat yeah. Raccoon, we definitely will. That's cool, we know Raheem. We've already shouted out one of yeah. his comments. Luca Van Dresch uh, kindly pointed out to us that a fact that we gave in the Did You Know was not true about the Pulp Fiction uh, 420 thing with the clocks. Yeah, uh, apparently so, it's just a rumour off the back of like one clock or something and they've obviously been too stoned to realise <laughs> <laughs> and put it out on a fact website as a thing. Excellent. Obviously we didn't then go back through Pulp Fiction and check Verify. every clock to confirm. We Which just figured is... someone else had been sad enough to do that work for us but they hadn't. They hadn't even confirmed their own thing. They saw one clock and went well that's likely to be all of it. <laughs> right. Blinko says haha thanks guys. Jeffrey Palmer says guys haha thank. <laughs> thanks. Andrew K.G. Smith says, guys, thanks, haha. -ha. And Essendessany GB. <laughs> Essene B, maybe? Thanks, haha, -ha, guys. Right, now these guys have <laughs> popped up before and another thing there, look. And uh, just the commitment from these lads is something that has uh, really touched us here at Not A Vlog because I don't think they actually know each other and they're like friends on YouTube. I think, I presume they've just. <laughs> their paths have cr crossed on our show but just the diligence again very similar to the penguin lads that, that these four guys have gone to to set up and it's the same dudes your <laughs> consistency does not go <laughs> unnoticed is excellent we love it a couple of people have said um, have you guys got funding and you should get funding and things like that and it looks like you've got funding no we don't have any funding whatsoever we fund all of this ourselves from work we get having done videos on YouTube sometimes people will pay us to come film stuff for them because they can see that we use cameras and bits and sometimes we do editing work for some people and uh, the other half of our work is performances and stuff because we do the YouTube thing so no no funding whatsoever it all comes from you guys guys sharing, commenting, liking our stuff, which makes corporations give us money, and uh, hence the cycle of free sketches to put out there so that more corporations pay us to visit. And so it's basically you guys commenting and sharing that that's where, that's how we get our work, it's you, we, we work for you, sort of, it's weird. And honestly, if you think, if you're hovering over the comment box and you're like, ah, oh, I don't know, it's a bit, just like... It's really very valuable to us for you to just give like even it's, some feedback. It's currency, you, yeah, it's data currency, like just anything, even if you just mash the keys because then it's just one more tick on the algorithm box. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get a bunch of mashed key oh, comments shit. now, aren't we? It's just going to be garbled. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyone who's stumbled across the video before they've watched it, just like, oh, what? The audience is insane <laughs> on this thing. <laughs> And you yeah. are. But yeah, thank you very much for all of your comments. They're always so <laughs> wicked good fun to read and they make our videos look a little bit better. But every once in a while we'll get a response which is slightly different. To give you some context, a few episodes ago we talked about somebody eating a live octopus. It's a delicacy in Korea. And somebody from Korea has sent this over. So yes, you've probably worked out. We're about to show you literally somebody 
eating a live octopus and also that live octopus being prepared. So if that's something you're not interested in being involved in with your eyes, then look away for just a little bit or skip this chunk of the video. Okay guys, so uh, I'm uh, here on behalf of Victorious Sponge's Not A Vlog series and uh, they mentioned in one of their recent episodes on Did You Know that there is a Korean dish called Sanakji, which is essentially live octopus. Well, I'm here tonight to find out quite what it tastes like and uh, I'm pretty nervous about it. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, which direction? Wow. That's crazy. Can I touch him? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god, that is so brutal. I'll tell you what, it's not for the faint hearted. Wow. Wow. If this isn't fresh, then I don't know what is. That's crazy. It's like sushi. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Oh. Chewy, really chewy. It's better in the sesame oil, but not by much. It's hard to dip it in because it's moving. Because of its suckers, it like sticks to everything. So like, it's actually really quite hard to eat. I've never had to eat food that moves. Oh, sticks to the top of your mouth. Crazy, that's so cool. Okay, finished. Thank you very, very much indeed, yeah, I mean, Tom, you. for sending that in. That it was really cool was to certainly get that through. You yeah, know. I mean, just, wow. I mean, you know, fair play to Korea for the customs, but we just wondered why not, why not stab it for the death first instead of cutting the tentacles off and then killing it? Because you'll notice they took chop it and then kill it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but um, but yeah, no, who, who, who knows? Yeah, just thank you very much indeed for all your comments, remarks, questions, nonsense, and the stuff that you send us. That's awesome. If you want to send us some bits, info at Victoria Sponge is where we take inquiries. This next section is called What Is This? A video will play, and we'll have absolutely no idea what it is, and we'll have to describe it anyway. And we still won't know until the end of the round. Ready? Let's do it. Andrew. What? Is this? Ollie, this is actually a leaked excerpt of the upcoming Star Wars film. Uh, and a lot of people are a bit shocked by it uh, because it seems like a bit of a segue from, uh, you know, traditionally what you might see from Star Wars. <laughs> but um, the, the writers, directors came together and they said, this, this is uh, the direction we want to be going. This is, this is new. This is fresh. This is uh, what they've found people want to see. Um, from their science fiction. Why do people want to see it? What, what, is it? Is this something that's sort of a bit, bit coming in at the moment? Well, you know, a lot of a lot of this style of film has been running the indie circuits for a long time now, and so uh, it's it's piqued their interest. <laughs> they want to take Star Wars to this level. Oh, take take a look, Andrew. It's right. um, it's it's a it's a squirrel. Inside of a <laughs> squirrel feeder that's shaped like a horse's head, <laughs> so that when he goes inside, he looks like a yeah. There we go, and that's the thing of action. Though. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that could be something from Star Wars, maybe. I don't know. I... <laughs> no. <laughs> Ollie, what is this? This is something that physicians in Toronto are very excited about and they hope will actually help young children to walk who are suffering from uh, various ailments that would stop them from doing so. It's, <laughs> it's specially designed to fit around the legs of, as you can see, smaller humans and, and what it'll do is it'll actually provide a lot of support to, to the lower back, enabling some um, support <laughs> to be carried out for physiotherapy. <laughs> Right. And, uh, I mean, this thing looks like a complicated bit of kit. Uh, can you go into any of the processes? Well, 
Uh, most of what you're looking at there, Andrew, is decoration. Um, <laughs> it's been set up by a foundation who are actually supported by the Art Network. And um, so a lot of it is, yeah, sort of on the decorative side. It's it's sort of about helping children, but mainly it's about aesthetic. And they're just hoping <laughs> that these fashionable disabled children will really just help up the, the other children in the community or right. something is is, <laughs> is a is a quote from the spokesperson from yesterday. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> is that a sea urchin? What? <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, that was like coke. It's not thirsty. And even if it was, <laughs> it <laughs> probably <laughs> doesn't, doesn't drink <laughs> Coca Cola. <laughs> oh God, it's squirt. Well, there you have know. it. Is that is that real? Is that a real thing? Nah, probably not. I've concluded that I don't think that that was actually a thing. Andrew, what is this? This is the new conceptual boy band that is taking <laughs> Japan by storm. <laughs> People can't get enough of this in Japan. It's on billboards, it's on posters, they've got their own clothing line, you know, as well as the music. It's a whole sort of cultural uh, pop fad that's really just blowing up in Japan. Uh, they love the, the music. It's a bit strange. <laughs> it's not what you might expect. And, um, and let's, take, let's take a look. <laughs> 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 the irony is... If it was a band, somehow, which it wouldn't be, <laughs> God forbid, then it probably would be massive in Japan. Yeah, yeah. it's like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, good looking hench dude with cats. It's like, yeah. I almost could imagine that that's <laughs> just already a thing. <laughs> well, thank you very much indeed for watching. That is the end of the show and the end of the series. As we mentioned last week, this was indeed the last episode of Not A Vlog. So thank you very much, much for watching. I didn't misspeak. That's ancient Greek and it means many. Thank you very many for watching. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're actually going to be continuing uh, down a slightly different road from now on. That's right. Uh, we've actually been writing a series for the last little while and we are scheduled to start shooting it very, very soon. So very, A bit too soon, maybe. <laughs> Some, Some might, might say. Argue. But yeah, so if you're a tiny bit disappointed that not a vlog isn't continuing maybe then don't worry because we're going to be doing continuous updates about this new series instead beginning next week so if you'd like to hear about what the series is then next thursday you'll be in luck so thank you very much for watching not a vlog all cheers this for time. supporting no, us cheers yeah. for leaving your comments don't forget to subscribe to hear about what we're doing and to carry on the journey with us because mm, we're pretty you know we've been working on it for a while it's an idea we really like and hopefully you will like it a lot too um, uh, we're pretty excited about yeah, that. Yeah, we've put a lot of time into this. It's a bit crazy. It's a bit of a gamble because we're not funded in any way. So it's just sort of our own pocket money that we get from this and from working and from doing camera opping stuff and for editing for people is what we'll be making it with. So we really, 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 really hope that you like it. If you don't like it, tweet it out because if you didn't like it, then someone else won't have liked it and then it's going to fucking bomb. So you know you got to help us out. Oh! It, it reminds me a little bit of, well, not really now that I've sort of thought about it out loud, but I was <laughs> going to say, like, when sort of your, like, your balls go up inside you. What's yeah, that kind doing? Of, yeah. So thank you very much indeed for all your wonderful support, for your comments, for your likes, for your sharing, for your tweets. We've seen you all over on Twitter. You guys have been awesome there. Super supportive. And we shall see you next week. Thursday. Thursday. Don't forget. Don't forget. Thursday. Next week. Thursday. Forget not. Don't. Forget Thursday, next week. Joining you Thursday, next week Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> <Thursday>. <laughs> <laughs>